Hi everyone. Now that all our images have been transferred from the camera to the computer, our next step is to stitch all of our images into 360 bubbles, which will eventually be placed on our final project. First of all, make sure you have the latest version of PT GUI Pro downloaded. If you do, open the program. Now let's drag and drop one set of our photos into PT GUI. Once they populate, you will see at the bottom, Align Images. Select this button to perform the action. A pop-up screen will appear, revealing a panoramic image. Minimize this screen. Now back on the main PT GUI window, you will see under Step 3, Create Panorama. Select this and a different screen should appear. To the right of File Format, the setting should read 95%. Let's change that to 100%. Now go up to File and in the drop-down window select Make Default. Once this is selected, let's select the New Project button and on the pop-up window that appears, select Don't Save. Now we can create our stitching template, but in order to do this, we need to create a default folder for PT GUI to save our panoramic images to, that, will you, that you will use each time you process a batch of images. Place this folder in a place that you want your images to go and that is easy to remember. This folder is going to be a permanent part of the template we will be creating. I have saved mine to the desktop and labeled the folder Resolute Bubble Template. Once the folder is created, on the top menu, select Tools and scroll down to the drop down menu to Batch Builder. A pop up window appears and we are going to select Detect Panoramas. Another pop up appears and under the Method drop down, we need to make sure the option One Panorama per folder is selected. Next, for our source folder, we need to select Browse and find the folder with all of our images we captured. Leave the image file extension empty and click on the Detect Panoramas button, and you will see in another window all your images should populate. Minimize this window for now, and in the far left column of the main PT GUI window, select Project Settings. Scroll down to File Naming section and select the drop down menu under Project File. Save as. Select the prefix first image file name option and then in the text box delete the word panorama and leave it blank. Then in the save in drop down select folder and then browse to the newly made panoramic template folder we made. Now in the same file naming section under panorama leave the drop down selected on same as project name and the text box next to it will gray out. Then in the Save In drop-down menu under Panorama, select Folder and choose the newly made Panorama template folder again that we recently made. Now we need to save our template. Select File and scroll down to Save as Template. Name it accordingly as you will have to select this template every batch that you run in the future. I have chosen to save mine as Resolute Template. It's an easy reminder to use whenever I'm processing images for Resolute. Now bring up that batch builder window we minimized earlier. Now under your photos in step 2, select the drop down menu and choose the template you just saved. Next, leave all the other settings as they are but check both boxes before selecting Generate Projects. You should now see the panorama folder populate with project files and as the images stitch, you will see these files replaced by the final image once it's done processing. Once all the images have been processed, we need to move those processed images from our template folder into our project folder. And once in the project folder, create a new folder and call this one 360 Bubbles. These will be what we upload to our final project and what I will go over in the next video.